Okay, today we're going to talk about uh, the rise of Sumer. This is chapter 3, section 2, 3.2. And Sumer was in uh, Fertile Crescent in Mesopotamia. So first, the big idea. The Sumerians developed the first civilization in Mesopotamia. Okay, so the Sumerians were the first to develop a civilization. Um, the main ideas are that the Sumerians created the world's first advanced society. And then religion played a major role in the Sumerian society. <clears throat> main idea one, the Sumerians created the world's first advanced society. Uh, they created the ba basic political units called city-states. Okay, so they, um, their cities were called city-states. They had strong armies, and they built walled cities for protection. So they put a wall around their city so that they could protect themselves from outside invaders. Their city-states consisted of a city and all the surrounding countryside. So even outside the walls of their city, um, the countryside was also part of their city-state, and that's usually where they had their crops and things like that. Uh, the amount of countryside in each city-state depended on its military strength. You're obviously not going to have much of a countryside if you have a weak military. You had to have uh, you know, a strong military to, to gain more land outside the walls of your city. Um, they con constantly fought each other to gain more, more farmland. And they gained and lost power over time. You're going to find that this is an area uh, in Mesopotamia that was constantly at war. Uh, empires taking over one another and constantly fighting with each other. Next is Sargon. <clears throat> Sargon was an Akkadian ruler who had the first permanent army. So he was the first one to have a permanent army. He defeated all the city-states of Sumer. When his army conquered northern Mesopotamia, he established the world's first empire. Uh, an empire is land with different territories and peoples under a single rule. So he basically united all the Mesopotamia into one uh, empire. He ruled for 50 years. Um, after his death, his empire lasted only a century longer. Uh, remember, a century is a period of 100 years. He built a new capital on the Euphrates River, and his empire stretched from the Persian Gulf to the Mediterranean Sea. Um, and let's stop for a moment and we'll take a look at um, part of uh, Sargon's empire. So first, you see Mesopotamia is all this green. and That's or that's the Fertile Crescent, I apologize. Um, Mesopotamia is the land between the two rivers that you see here. When it goes brown in this area, that's the Akkadian Empire under Sargon. Um, and then you'll see this pink color, purplish color, and that will be the Babylonian Empire under Hammurabi, which we've talked about a little bit. We'll learn more about next section. As civilization developed around rich farmland in southern Mesopotamia, the kings of Sumerian city-states fought over land. Around 2371 B.C., Sargon of Akkad united all of Mesopotamia into the world's first empire. This Akkadian empire stretched from the Mediterranean Sea to the Persian Gulf. And here's the Mediterranean Sea. Here's Sargon. Um, here's the Mediterranean Sea and here's the Persian Gulf. So it, his empire stretched from there to the Persian Gulf. Okay, And obviously all the brown is Sargon's empire called the Akkadian Empire. The Akkadian Empire was eventually replaced by a new empire with its capital at Babylon. This Babylonian Empire expanded rapidly under the rule of King Hammurabi, who created an important set of laws to help govern his empire. And that was called the Code of Hammurabi, and that's something that you guys learned about if you did uh, King Hammurabi as your person last week for your uh, project. All right, moving on. Uh, main idea too, religion played a major role in Sumerian society. So you see the rise of religion um, in Sumer. Uh, Sumerian polytheism was the basis for all Sumerian society. Polytheism is the worship of many gods. Gods had enormous powers, and priests had great had great statues built in Sumer. Priests were people who performed religious ceremonies. Sumerian social order. 
social hierarchy, the division of society by rank or class. This is how they rank their citizens. Uh, kings were at the top of the order because they claimed to be chosen to rule by the gods. So um, their social order went. Kings were at the top of the list. Then came priests, then skilled craftspeople, merchants, and trainers. Large working class of farmers and laborers, and then slaves were at the very bottom. Um, and you can compare it to today, like uh, our society. We talk about maybe the the, the rich being at the top, um, and then you have the middle class, and then you have the lower class as far as like when people think of our societies today. Men and women in Sumer. Men generally held the political power and made laws. Women generally took care of the home and children. Education was generally reserved for men, but some upper-class women were educated. And some women were priestesses in Sumerian temples. And Hedwana, a priestess who wrote hymns, is the first known female writer in history. And she's another person that we learned about last week during our project. And that's it. That's the first advanced society uh, in, in, in history was, the, the, was Sumer or the Sumerians.